Hey everyone, welcome to another tutorial. My name is Matt, and today we're going to cover the enhancement of 3D characters that are baked into your renderings. We have our baked in rendering scene. These guys are from Gobo Tree. Check them out if you need a collection of new characters. We'll be covering the a simple solution, still one click, and I'm going to be posting that on YouTube. And then the further advanced tutorial will be on my website, hallet ai.com. And uh, I also include all the settings on my website, so you can download those. Here's just one more example for you. Some of these people were really a bad quality, and it managed to improve almost all of them in a pretty realistic way. Before we get started, we need to have an extension installed, and we're going to use the UD Detailer right here on this GitHub page. It's actually Micron Detection Detailer, and we go to apply and reset. You can also install the add detailer, which is a little easier to use. So you can install both of those for this project. And we come down, we drag our rendering in, and it should be, for dimensions, it should be less than 2K, depending on your GPU. Typically it's, it's 1024 maximum. And we're gonna come up to our model checkpoint. You can choose any of your favorite 1.5 versions. I'm using Epic Photogasm Z Universal and I have a really simple prompt photo and the reasons why I use less prompts than almost anybody else is uh, just a long, there's like a whole bunch of theory behind it and I can't get into it right now because I tend to go on tangents all the time when I'm doing these videos and it takes me forever to edit them so there's reasons behind that. I'm calling this version 2 of the SDE Keras and the there's also the version 3 and then we have our sampling steps at 40 our denoising strength is 0.3 because we don't want to alter this image very much we just need to kickstart it in order to bring in the extension of the detailer turn this on expand the extension first thing we need to do if you don't have these models is to go down to the model downloader helper which is in this tab and download all of these if it doesn't work try a different browser I'm using Chrome right now because I couldn't download them in Firefox because of all my ad blockers and things. Next, scroll back up, select YOLO person S copy, okay? And that'll automatically add the object class as person in here. I'm changing the confidence from the default, I think it was 30 to 50, so that it doesn't pick up some odd things in the background because I have very unclear characters. And so the higher the confidence, the, the less likely it is to pick up abnormalities. Dilation is how to expand the selection box. So the default's four. And we're doing a separate denoise strength here. So expand the in painting options. And we're going to change our denoising strength to 0.4 because we want to edit that part, right? 0.3 is going to leave us with almost no change into this image. You'll want to play with that value. Depending on how realistic your characters already are, then you can lower the denoising. If you really need to work at them, and uh, sometimes too much though, and they look fake and not in place of the scene. So that's how I've come to this 0.44, but that's only because of this particular image. You'll want to play with that value. Now this works the same way as in painting, if you've used that before. This is going to focus strictly down on that individual mask it makes through the detection. And we have our masking as a default at uh, eight pixels. The interesting part about the two-step process that we're doing is we have to use the in-painting, uh, I believe the default is none. So check before in-painting A, it's going to detect faces before it does this one. So keep all of these settings the way I have them here. Scroll up to secondary, and now we're gonna add a face because the whole body is done and kind of blends it into the scene. And then it'll come up to the secondary and it's gonna work specifically on the face of that character. And so we're selecting box uh, YOLO face. S means full size and N is nano. So when you see the two versions, S is the larger model. I'm using 50% for this one as well for consistency. That should be good for now. And then we'll just hit generate. You'll see this happen in a minute. There's the face. I can zoom in on that. And as soon as that does, it's going to bring a crop right to that face and edit it specifically with our denoising. So our 0.44 is just processing in this box with a mask that you can't see, but it's blended on those pixels. And so that's why they blend in quite nicely. The reason the people further away uh, aren't processed as well has to do with a whole bunch of other <laughs> issues 
when it comes to, uh, as we know, the limitations of stable diffusion. If I ever get enough subscribers and I can make money doing YouTube, I only have like 500 right now. So if I ever have enough people on YouTube that want to uh, subscribe and I start getting ad revenue, then I'll put all this up for free. Yeah, so that one that one turned out really nice. The, the got this guy, which it didn't in some other settings I was playing with, didn't get the people in the far background, but it did do a really solid job on these fellas, um, and even some of the hands. So the idea here would be what you don't like if things have been altered. Drag that into Photoshop, and here's another example where I didn't like the whole image had a bit of a tonal change. So what I did was I created a mask and I just painted it out. So that's the idea with fixing people with the one click method. I hope I covered everything. Let me know if that, uh, that worked for you. All right, peace.